Hi guys, Chris here, and you're watching Here We Are Running, and today we're looking at three of the top stability running shoes of 2020 so far. Now I'm filming this in May, and these are the current models of each shoe at this point in time, but do expect updated models to be released as the year progresses. And the three models that we are comparing today are the Asics Gel Keanu 26, the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 20, and the Hoka One One Arahi 4. Now, if you are regular on the channel, you'll know that I've reviewed all of these shoes before. So if you're interested in a specific one, do go and check out my full review of the shoe you're interested in. But if you're new around here, then why not hit that subscribe button right now so that you stay up to date with all my future running videos. Okay, let's start by looking at stability and how that's being provided in each of these shoes. The first thing to say is that they all have a different approach to providing stability. The Keanu 26 provides stability in a very traditional way through medial support and it's also got this uh, trustic system here. Whereas the GTS 20 has guide rails. You can see them at the side here and here. And these are a bit like bumpers at a bowling alley. If you need them, they'll keep your foot aligned, but if you don't, it doesn't interfere with your running style. And the Arahi 4 uses firmer midsole foam in the shape of a J to keep your foot stable on landing. Let's just do a little twist test on each of the shoes. So with the Keanu 26, it's very rigid. There's not a lot of twist in that. You get much more twist and flexibility in the uh, Adrenaline GTS 20. And let's just try the Arachne 4. I'd say that's somewhere in the middle of the two. But in my experience, all provide support. But for someone who overpronates a lot, you'd probably want to opt for the Keanu. And if you just wanted something to support you when your legs were tired and maybe your running form has started to dip, then maybe look at the Adrenaline with the guide rail system. That could probably be the perfect choice for you. Moving on to comfort. Now, if you've seen my review on the Arahi 4, then you'll know that I get a blister in them on the inside of my right foot when I run in them. So for me, these are the least comfortable of the three shoes, but other people have got on fine with them. The other two, well, there's not a lot in it to be honest, but if I was picking a shoe purely on comfort, then I would probably opt for the Adrenaline GTS 20, but it's a really close call. All three shoes have nice breathable uppers and good heel counters to really lock your foot in when you're running. They've also got good grip on the outsole, but I would say there's more grip on the uh, Keanu 26 and the Adrenaline GTS 20 because the Hoka One One Arahi 4 does have some exposed midsole, but it's got that grip, it's got that rubber in the places that are gonna hit the ground the most. An area where these shoes do differ is weight though. And I'll put the weights up on the screen now so that you can see this. And these are weighed by me and are for a UK size 11. As you can see, they do vary quite a bit. Interestingly though, both the Keanu and the Adrenaline GTS 20 weigh less than their respective predecessors. So when the Keanu 27 is released in the summer, we may find that they've shaved some weight off of it and it's more in line with the G Adrenaline GTS 20, but we'll have to wait and see for that one. But by far the lightest of the three is, yeah, the Arahi 4. And I would say the Adrenaline certainly doesn't feel heavy when you run in it. Uh, in fact, it's a very balanced feel. Moving on to durability, and I can't give you a direct comparison here because I've run different distances in each shoe. But what I can say is the Keanu 26, which has the most distance in it, has been wearing really well. I've done over 700 kilometers or 440 miles. And as I've grown to expect from an ASIC shoe, the outsole has held up really well. I'm starting to see a couple of areas now where the grip is reducing but I'd expect to get at least 800 kilometers or 500 miles in them before they need to be retired. 
In the Adrenaline GTS 20, I'm approaching 300 kilometers and there is very little signs of wear in them so far. And in the predecessor, the GTS 19, I've done double that distance and they've still got some to go. The Arahi 4, well, probably a little bit too early for me to say at the moment, as I've only done 135 kilometers in them so far. And as I say, they do have some rubber in the high impact areas, but there's also quite a bit of exposed foam. So it'll be interesting to see how they wear over time. The final area I wanted to compare was speed. For me, one of these shoes certainly feels a faster shoe. And yeah, it's this one, it's the Arahi 4. The lighter weight and the rocker design help to propel you forward when you pick up the speed. And if you want a shoe for the shorter, faster distances, this may suit you the best. But I do think there is a bit of a compromise on comfort, which the other two shoes have more of. So overall, what is my favorite stability running shoe of 2020 so far? Well, it's this one. It's the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 20. And in my opinion, this is a great shoe. I used it a lot during my marathon training and had the marathon gone ahead, I would have worn this for the race itself. I also really do like the Keanu 26 uh, and I can't wait to get my hands on the 27 when that's released a little bit later in the summer. Uh, but if there's one stability running shoe that I had to recommend during the first half of 2020, it would be the Adrenaline GTS 20. So there you have it guys. Do let me know what your favorite stability running shoe is of 2020 so far. And I do hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, of course, please do hit that thumbs up button to give the video a like. And if you're new around here, well, why not consider subscribing for regular running content? But for now guys, goodbye.